You're listening to Bambino Babble's story. Once upon a time, there was a mighty emperor who ruled over a vast kingdom. The emperor loved nothing more than flying his kite high up in the sky. His kite was a magnificent sight, with vibrant colors and intricate designs. One day, the emperor decided to hold a kite flying festival in honor of his birthday. People came from far and wide to participate in the festival, bringing their own kites to fly alongside the emperor's. As the festival began, the emperor's kite soared high above all the others. He felt a great sense of joy and pride as he watched his kite dance and glide through the sky. But suddenly, a strong gust of wind swept across the sky, and the emperor's kite was caught in its grasp. The emperor tried to hold on to the kite, but it slipped out of his hands and disappeared into the distance. The emperor was devastated. His favorite kite was gone, and he felt that he had lost a part of himself. He searched high and low, but the kite was nowhere to be found. Days turned into weeks, and the emperor grew more and more despondent. He had lost his joy and his passion for flying kites. His subjects were worried and knew that something had to be done to cheer him up. One day, a young boy came to the emperor and offered to help find his lost kite. The emperor was hesitant at first, but he could see the determination in the boy's eyes and decided to give him a chance. The boy set out on a quest to find the emperor's kite. He traveled far and wide, asking everyone he met if they had seen the emperor's kite. He encountered many obstacles and challenges, but he never gave up. Finally, after weeks of searching, the boy stumbled upon a small village on the outskirts of the kingdom. There, he saw a group of children playing with a kite that looked remarkably similar to the emperor's. The boy approached the children and asked them where they had found the kite. They told him that they had found it caught in a tree by the river and had been playing with it ever since. The boy knew that he had found the emperor's kite. He took it back to the emperor, who was overjoyed to see his favorite kite once again. The emperor's joy was restored, and he realized that he had been foolish to let the loss of his kite affect him so deeply. He held another kite flying festival, and this time, he invited the young boy who had found his kite as a special guest. The festival was a huge success, and everyone marveled at the beauty of the emperor's kite as it soared high up in the sky. The emperor felt grateful and happy, knowing that he had his joy and passion back, thanks to the kindness and determination of a young boy. And so, the emperor and his subjects lived happily ever after, knowing that even in the darkest of times, there is always hope and joy to be found.